which towns to visit on the Amalfi Coast. In this video, I'm going to show you which are the most beautiful towns, the most visited, which ones are worth including in your Amalfi Coast itinerary, which isn't easy to do. Is it? There are so many beautiful islands, beaches, and incredible towns. So this is the main question on anyone's mind. In this video, I'll show you quickly and clearly which towns you need to visit on the Amalfi Coast. So don't forget, guys, to give us a like, subscribe, to the channel and buckle up. Hey guys, for those who don't know me, I'm Gabriel Lorenzi, creator of the Grupo Dicas, the largest travel content network in the world, and today we're going to talk about the cities on the Amalfi Coast. We've already made several really cool videos here. Guys, there's the perfect itinerary for the Amalfi Coast, the cheap and practical itinerary on the Amalfi Coast, or all the tips on the Amalfi Coast, and we decided to make this video focusing on the main cities you need to include in your itinerary to get to know the Amalfi Coast. So it's going to be a shorter, more objective objective video so that you already know and have the start of your itinerary and at least have an idea of which towns are there. So let's get to it. So starting at the beginning is always good, the Amalfi Coast is the Campania region, it's a region in the south of Italy, you'll be about 2 or 3 hours from Rome by train, which is 2.5 hours faster by car, it will take you about 3 hours to get there, so it's below Rome, there's the Amalfi Coast named after the beautiful coastline there with several towns in the Campania region and other towns further up. If you're coming from Rome, generally most people arrive via Rome, right, Rome and Milan, they're the biggest airports with the most flights and promotions so you will definitely arrive in Milan or Rome. Rome is closer to the Amalfi Coast if you arrive in Milan you will have to travel a bit further but from Rome you're already closer and then you're on your way. Two and a half hours you arrive in Sorrento. Sorrento is the first town on the Amalfi Coast for those coming from the north of central Italy so Sorrento is where this stretch of coast begins and Sorrento is a very nice city that people use as a base. In the practical and non-expensive itinerary I made the video here check it out later it is really cool we recommend staying in Sorrento which is much cheaper the hotels are better and you can do everything from there you can take a ferry to any of the other towns Amalfi Positano so it's a great city to base yourself in I don't think it's that essential in terms of tourism but it's worth doing it as a base then there's one of the most famous you will hear about which is Sorrento there's also Naples a little further up from Sorrento it's off the Amalfi coast but it's a very nice city because it's very close to it. There are ferries from there to the Amalfi Coast. It's an incredible city, well worth a visit, and it's right next to Pompeii, another incredible city that was buried by the volcano's ash. It's another nice city, so you have the option of including Pompeii and Naples in your itinerary, or excluding it and going straight to the Amalfi Coast. And arriving on the Amalfi Coast, now for the main towns, I'll go in order of the ones I like best. Positano, for me, Positano is the Amalfi Coast. It's a reflection of the Amalfi Coast. It was the town we liked the most. If you can stay there for at least two days, Positano is one of the most expensive places to stay. Because the town there, these little townspeople, they are small. There are few hotels and lots of tourists, so the prices are expensive. To stay in these towns, you have to spend a bit more. But Positano, I thought, was the most beautiful, the most worthwhile, and worth you investing a little more. So, here here we go. The town is Positano. To get to Positano, or if you're in Sorrento, you can take a ferry and you will be there in an hour or so. There are buses, there are several ways to get to Positano, but you can also get there by car. It's a bit difficult. To park, you have to go very early because there is very little parking. If you get a hotel with parking, you're halfway there. I'll mention here in the video description the hotel we stayed in. It was very good, guys. It has a parking lot, so if you have a rental car there, it's wonderful. You can get there super easily and super quick. Another town that is the second, in my opinion, most interesting to visit there is 
Amalfi. Amalfi is a little to the right of Positano. It's very close. It will take you maybe 40 or 50 minutes to get from one to the other. It's also a beautiful town and gave its name to the Amalfi Coast because Amalfi Beach is one of the most famous beaches there. So Amalfi is another beautiful town. They both have beaches. There's that mountain with all the hotels, those rocks. The beaches there are made of rocks, but some are made of sand. But the main ones are all made of stones. They are a bit different different from what we're used to, but they're beautiful places. So Positano and Amalfi are the two that top the tourist list. There is a third one called Ravello. It's one of the only ones that doesn't have a beach because it's on a top mountain cliff, but it's beautiful because it has a slightly different structure, tourist attractions, and a very nice town to spend the day in. Okay, I don't think it's worth staying there, but as Ravello is very close to Amalfi, when you're in Amalfi, you can take a quick trip there and in a few minutes, you will be in another very nice and very famous town. So in my opinion, the best are Positano, Amalfi and Ravello. And Praiano is a town between Positano and Amalfi down there, which isn't as well known, but there's a beautiful little beach there. Super pretty, heavenly and some nice hotel options that are much cheaper than in Positano and Amalfi. It's a town that some people also use to spend the day or stay in. And there's another one that isn't actually officially on the Amalfi coast, but it's only 30 minutes away, which is the island of Capri. The island of Capri is one of the most famous islands in the world. If you're in Sorrento, you can reach the island of Capri in 30 minutes. If you're in Naples, a little further up the coast, you will reach the island of Capri in an hour and 20 by ferry. Positano, you can also get to the island of Capri in 40 minutes by ferry. You go to the island of Capri, so it's a very easy place to get to know. No matter which town you're in, you will be close to the island, and the boat trips aren't expensive. So, the tour we took, guys, I'll even leave it down here in the description of the video and in the first fixed comments, the website where we buy all the tickets, tours and excursions from all over Europe, especially those in Italy. It has the best price, the cheapest place and it's very good. There are all the tours there for you to see. And then you put it on in the city or in Positano, you type in into the site Positano, it will show you all the tours that leave from there. There are tours to the Isle of Capri that leave from there, from several other towns. If you're in Sorrento, there's also Naples, all the others. It's a very nice boat that takes you all the way around the island of Capri so you can get off and see it. So it's a very special day. Some people stay on the island of Capri, the price is high, but it's also a very nice experience. But most tourists end up opting for this day trip. You can also go by ferry, but the boat trip is a little bit more expensive and much more comfortable. It's a smaller boat. Ferries are those gigantic boats that only serve as transportation. The tour boats will drop you off at the places, show you the sides, have a guide with you. So I think it's very nice. Take a look and you will see that the price isn't expensive. It's worth including the island of Capri in your Amalfi Coast itinerary. So take a look in this website. Everything will be there. They have the best prices and you can do the most amazing tours. And I know it's difficult to put together an Amalfi Coast itinerary. In Italy in general, we have a lot of cities, so everyone gets confused. I stay there, stay there, stay two days here, one day, three days in Rome. It's a lot. There are a lot of questions. So I've tried to summarize all the tips here to try to help you with your itinerary. Watch the video afterwards of the itinerary we made for the Amalfi Coast and all the tips as well as the most beautiful beaches on the Amalfi Coast, which will help you plan the rest of your trip. And down here in the description of the video, guys, and in the first comment, I'll give you all the the links to the places we've known for years and know are the best places to book everything. The travel SIM card to use your cell phone there is extremely important, the best, the cheapest. Travel insurance, which is a must for Europe. A price comparison tool that compares and finds prices at half the price of what you're likely to find in travel agencies. The same insurance, good, great, fast, cheap. There's also a train and ferry ticket finder. It's all there guys. The hotels we stayed in are all down here. Just use it as a guide for your entire trip. You have the best services right there. And that's it guys, I hope you liked the video, if you like it, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel because that really helps us a lot and stay tuned for lots of cool videos, I'll leave you with the two most important ones to watch from Italy so you can have a smooth trip guys, so thanks a lot, have nice trips.